Hello there, comrades. Welcome to the fourth episode of Konev's Communist Russia. Or shall I say, Konev's Wet Dream. <laughs> As from the last episode, Konev's European Playground, I have to say, it's really great. Oh, and I didn't realize also in the last episode that Iceland was democratic socialist and they have some good relations with us. I didn't realize that. I thought they were a demo democracy, meaning they would have a horrible opinion on us, but... Eh, whatever. Anyway, let's get into the gameplay before I start blabbing my mouth forever. And as you can see, Konev's play... And as you can see, Konev's Europe is just a cozy, good Europe. But you know what? <laughs> And I like the comment a friend made when I showed him the video thumbnail with episode 3 about Zardom of Bulgaria. But you know what, Bulgaria? Maybe I'll let you slide. Or maybe I'll sl let you slide out of my influence. You're really not that important to me. That's all I have to say. Oh, and country... Oh yeah, and I do have good relations with Serbia, but I decided not to puppet them because independence. Hmm, but you know what? Turkey, it's time for you to jump on my bandwagon. Let's see, East Russia. I better create a unit in, from the Caucasus. Okay, let's now let's try that. Mm -hmm. See ya. I always like to I always like to hire good I always like to hire good generals that know what they're doing. The Middle East. There we go. Hang on, I need to make sure that uh There we go. Renewed diplomacy. Economic downturn. Just what I wanted. And since I don't really have Bulgaria as a puppet, all I have to do is just go through Turkey and that's it. Time for war. Ves Vasily Rak Rakov wounded. Oh, don't worry. He'll be fine. Let me make sure I also send some missiles over. To Turkey this time. Oh, let me just. Alright. Mm hmm. Infiltrate the reactionaries. Let's see. Next step economic rejuvenation. Economic rejuvenation. We will rejuvenate the economy with a series of influential politics. Or shall I say policies? I don't know why I said politics. Oh lord. And since this is a lone Soviet job I'm doing, I don't really need my puppets in this war. <laughs> hmm, let's see. I should also create a Scandinavian front as well. And oh boy, look at all those good factory numbers. They're rising up like mad. As they bet, as they say, I better make sure I keep those numbers rising up like crazy. Thank you for the trade, my puppets, but we all know the war is going to end almost anyway. <laughs> Socialist state of Belgium. <laughs> Let's see, I want to know the Toronto Accords' influence. Hmm. I see, they- I see. The Republic of Iraq declared war on the Imperial State of Iran. Ooh, this gotta be spicy. 
But who cares, I'm gonna take over Iraq anyway, and Iran. And it seems British decolonization is gonna work wonders for me. Mohammed, Mohammed Nagubi. Let's see, this is how much far the far they go, so I also have, yeah, non-aggression pact with Communist Mongolia. Mm-hmm. Improve relations. Mm-hmm. Okay, seems like Turkey ain't given up about a fight, but I'm still going strong. And like, I'm not, I don't even have like an inner cheat or anything, like, this is just how it is. So let me just cancel that. Mm -hmm. Finally, we are rejuvenating the economy. International Red Army. The International Red Army will unite workers of all nationalities in one single unified army. This mighty army will soon liberate the world from her oppressors. <laughs> now, I like the sound of that. <laughs> At least for Konev. Oh, I have three civilian fa- oh I, oh, I already pumped up to 757 civilian factory. That's a lot. Whoa, uh, Yugoslav- Socialist Republic of Yugoslavia, uh, what are you doing? Okay, this has got me, like, at a crosshairs. Like, should I even support B Bulgaria, or should I support- You know what, maybe if Yugoslavia just wants these bits of land, then that's fine. Like, look, look, Serbia, I'll help you, but I'm not gonna destroy the Tsardom of Bulgaria. Like, what? Let's see. Oh, they just want to annex... A, an imper- what? An impossible peace? That's crazy. What well, in? oh boy. I don't like the sound of how Yugoslavia is just murdering the Tsardom of Bulgaria. I mean, even though technically, in reality, Bulgaria didn't want to declare war on the so declare war on me as the USSR. But hey, maybe if Yugoslavia does something horrible to the Bulgarians, like take up all their land, I might as well help help the Bulgarians with a favor and liberate them anyway. I mean. Alright. Come on, move move in already. I want to make sure that you get... And... Okay, there we go, and... There we go, so let's... Now, okay, now let's move... Okay, now we move on to Istanbul. Mm-hmm. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't even make... The, the troops up there. There we go. Mm-hmm. I love making a lot of tanks. It's it's a lot easier that way. I swear, Yugos I, I, I swear, Socialist Republic of Yugoslavia. If you if you really try to like relaxing state censorship. Fanatical resistance and new thought movement. You, Yugoslavia, I will have an non-aggression pact with you, but if you completely destroy all of you, all of Bulgaria, and I'm gonna have to declare war on you. I'm sorry, but it's only for when you have to like give the Bulgarians back land. Really, it's that diff is it that difficult for the for them to get over to Hmm. 
maybe I could support the Bulgarians a bit. So all of land lease. International Red Army. Wow. The People's Republic of Bulgaria was puppeted by Yugoslavia. I did not expect that to happen, but oh well. Oh well, I mean at least socialist. Oh well, I mean, at least socialist Bulgaria is now part of part of a world order, so I guess that'll I guess something good came out of it anyway. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to send my fighters up here. Let me make sure I also have a substantial fighters around this area. Okay, tactical bomber, there we go. Okay, this one will be the Scandinavian front, so... Take, I don't know how the Turks are even so easy, are so easy to even defend their their place like that. So I think maybe in the meantime I'll be able to just take over Finland. Yep. So while I'm so while I'm handling Finland, I'll be able to handle over. Uh, Alright. It's always good to make sure you have your Air Force ready. You may not know when they'll be of help, as they say. Let's see. Missing equipment, mechanized, motorized, and heavy tank. The Socialist... What? Socialist Republic of Mexico declared war on the autonomous states? Oh boy, I have a new socialist partner now. The world revolution will be re realized under Konev. I'm so happy for this. Send, we'll send you some lend lease Mexican partners. I swear, I'm. This is this is making Konev more happier in his grave already. Jesus, but Turkey is still holding strong for God knows how long. They have a non-aggression pact with the Finnish. <laughs> okay, let's okay, let's try and speed things up a bit. Darn, these Finns really are strong. I do have to admire them for that. Alexei, aw oh man, Alexei Kirishenko Kyrish wounded. That's got, that's just great. Okay, let's see, what am I missing now? Oh, I already have all the fighters and tactical jets I need, so I'm good. Oh, and scout aircraft too. Let's see. Missing equipment, 
mechanized and heavy tank. Mecha mechanized. Mechanized and heavy tank, heavy tank. 1960 heavy tank, so I'm gonna need to create a new one. Special module, Commander Night Vision. Special module, Cutting Corner. Ah, we finally formed the, G the GB. Ah, uh, finally, the heavy tank we get. Spread rumors of political reform. Woohoo, Socialist Republican. Finally, Finland is beat. I was wondering when they weren't even going to be beat. Let's see, now I can liberate. Finland. Established Democratic Republic of Finland. Mm -hmm. a, a, new co a new ally joins in on the world revolution. Also, I know the war with the Toronto Accords will come, but I want to just surround them just to be safe. Like, I already have Mexico already infiltrating next to America, so it could be a not, it could be a good one that I might have that I might not be able to do all the work against the United States. Temporarily stop improving relations with them. Oh, they have a small government, and yet they privatize their industry. What is going on with you, Mexico? I didn't expect you to be like this. We no longer we no longer get renewed diplomacy. <sighs> Come on. Seriously though, I'm still dealing with Turkey at this I'm still dealing with Turkey. I don't know how they're even going strong for that long. Eh, who cares? But you know what? Next country on the chopping block is Sweden. I'm sorry, Sweden, but with your neutrality it, it, it has to be done. It, it has to be done, I'm sorry. Rise, 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 rise. Mm -hmm. The world revolution shall keep on trucking. I don't know why I even said it like that. Mechanized. Am I missing like mechanized infantry or something? Okay, there we go. That was what I was missing. Sw Sweden, you will be forced to join the New World Order, and you can't take no for an answer. Really? Why does the Transition 40 of Norway still have, like, the same... I, I, don't, e I don't even want to ask, but... Yeah, I don't want... I don't care. Okay, okay, now let's keep building up my... Gotta keep building up my industry, comrades. We don't. We cannot be left behind. Let's change up some music. Heavy water. I, 
I really do have to say this. I do admire the the Turks for their for their grand ambition. Hmm? That's funny. That's funny. Why does Yugoslavia have a war goal against itself? That that's that's crazy. America launches its first satellite. Huh. Wow. America launches its first ever satellite. Now I'm I have to say I'm impressed. <laughs> Oh yeah, I also have a lot of... Come on, come on, come on Turkey, it's not too late to even give up your losses anyway. Like, just give up. Food on the plate. Food is a basic requirement of all workers. We must first ensure the supply of bread before starting other grand projects. I wouldn't have said that better myself, sir. Ivan Sirov. Mm -hmm. How is the Greek Civil War still going on and like nothing is going far? You know what? I'm gonna have to do this. Turkey is giving go. me a hard font. Finally, I was wondering when Turkey was never even going to bother capitulate. Alright. Hmm. Re release Turkey under our guidance. Yes. The Turkish People's Republic. Hmm. Maybe... You know... The Middle East, you know, I haven't really touched Central Central Asia a lot lately, so let's change that subject. And I also better prepare... Let's say I also better prepare the Syrian nationalist state for what's coming in their face. Literally. <laughs> A Marxist Leninism under Nicolas Arista. United States of Brazil? Oh yeah, I also have to worry about... Aw oh, man, you gotta be kidding me. They got Brazil into the alliance? This is just gonna... This is just gonna make things more difficult for me, isn't it? I really hate when that happens. Oh, Brazilian parliament is under control, so... Hmm. It's gonna be a lot hard to influence South Africa... South America, because, like, they're more likely traditional... With their authority. But you know what? I may not declare war on the Toronto Accords right away, but I just wanna see him but I just wanna see him make sure what they can do about my rising influence, you know? Like I'm making sure I have more puppets and bide my time with my army. Like place them like place them anywhere where they may need to be. <laughs> Let me re reduce the fret a bit. Oh yeah, sorry about that click you might have heard. Um, that was, I might have. I didn't realize I accidentally took a screenshot, but you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter anyway. 
<laughs> but anyway, the slow moving process into Sweden is going really nicely, that's all I have to say. It's going really so smooth that I don't even have the words to describe it. But while I think maybe that's going on, I might as well get... What miss- what- I'm missing a guided missile now? Oh. Well, I guess that means I'm running low on guided missiles, aren't I? Okay, let's... Let's make sure I restock on guided missiles, just in case if I forget. Oh. Austerity train, railway... Hmm. The Socialist Republic of Italy wants to provide us. Alright, now for the Kingdom of Kazakhstan. Bring forth the tanks. Konev's guard that I I was trying to put in. Okay, there we go. Mm-hmm. Hm. Oh boy, India. I love that you reunited the entire country. The Foreign Friendship Department. The Foreign Friendship Department will handle political operations in foreign countries and will become an important tool of diplomatic influence. That's nice to know. Finally, Afghanistan has now fallen. The so-called Grave of Empires has now been subdued. Excellent. The so-called Grave of Empires in E. Sorry about that. Hehehehe. <laughs> the cop. The communist influence grows more under Konev's guidance. You have all of almost all of Eurasia under our grasp. Finally, Sweden finally kick the bucket. Liberate Sweden. The People's Republic of Sweden. Yes. Konev's influence grows more and more. <laughs> but at least I do have a secret partner in the, in the Americas, so at least that's a one-up. <laughs> you know what, maybe I should help the Imperial State of Iran. Who knows? Or, you know what, maybe I should just handle Syria and the other countries here first. Hmm. 
Wait, hold on. Let me get Turkey involved. Mm -hmm. See now, the Caucasus gang will also have to be implemented. They're in the Caucasus, so that means for this part. Finally, Syria has just capitulated. And that's awesome. Now, Syria has just. Cyprus has now just capitulated. Alright. The fate of Syria and Lebanon. Install a loyal regime of Syria. That's good. Now let's handle the rest of Transjordan and Iraq. Install a puppet of Jordan. Oh, I took over all of them? Alright. You must directly occupy it. Okay, so I guess that means in some cases I have to directly occupy other countries. It's, so, I mean, if that's the gameplay, then that's fine. I mean, I understand that. I'm not even gonna argue there, and I'm gonna need more pa- Oh well. You know, maybe as an added sweetener, why don't I just make it part of Jor- the areas part of Jordan and Syria theirs. And there we go! A united- a, Both a united Transjordan and Syria. The- Konev's influence, influential pack spreads once again. Now I think it's time to do a double pincer movement, if I do say so myself. But I'm not gonna get you involved, Turkey, I promise. Time for more conquest! You know, as the originality says, you don't go poking the bear. But I guess the Soviet, I guess you can say that the Iranians and the Iraqis never learned that. Socialist Military Alliance. Socialist Military Alliance will be the foundation of the Socialist Global Cooperation. Ooh, I like this one. No questions asked or needed for that one. I'm liking where that's going. Heavy water. Ooh, Syria just com Syria just helped capitulated Iraq real quick like crazy.
take all of the Iraqi states. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me make sure I handle with, uh... Oh wait, never mind, I think Iran's gonna be beaten anyway. War bonds. And good, I was able to get... Communist tech sharing. Return, uh, return Iranian Kurdistan. Mm-hmm. But I mean, hey. Create a new Iraqi government. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Called it. Oh, they changed their ideal to a colony. Nice. Wow, Iran. You can't... You can't... Wow, Iran, you can't even defend yourself. That's nuts. Finally, Iran... Finally, I bested Iran. Rebuild the Kremlin. You know, it would also be nice if I also was able to allow to puppet Iran, but you know what? Who cares? I'm just gonna keep it like this. I'll have I'll have Iran as a as an Iranian SSR. <laughs> Has a nice ring to it. But just to be safe, we shall also quell some rebellions in case if if that were to come to pass. So I guess you can def say that the Soviet Union has. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know if I really want to say it, but who cares? Hmm. And yes, the info. And yes, Konev's influence spreads a lot more. Hmm. Should I be prepared to to invade the Toronto Accords now or later? Now or later? Well, West Russia. Well, West Russia for the most part. I would give as emphatic yes. Mm-hmm. Alright, so let's just say... Kickstart Biochemical Research and Nuclear Research. It's Odessa or war? Send military equipment to free Central African states. Eh. Also, I better give the USSR... Iraq to Turkey. Mm hmm. There we go. <laughs> Public of Iraq, Democrat. No, I know, that's why I thought that should be. Haha. Committee of, for State Security. Hmm. Okay, you know what, my viewers, since basically I know y'all don't want to wait too long, but we shall do the ultimate 180, and this is gonna be good. We shall declare war on the Toronto. Yes. We'll just invade through Serbia anyway.
Oh man, my favorite commander falls ill again. They had to they had to develop a nuclear bomb on me bomb against me. You do realize even still that won't deter me, right? I don't care how many nukes if they have to throw in my way just so I can get what I want. Finally, transitional Norway just surrendered. Oh, you know what? I could send... Why didn't I even think of this before? Consider it done. The Council of the Liberation of Europa. Yes. Okay, we'll give you guys an lease. Oh, wait, no. Well, I'm supposed to be giving them lease. I don't know why it said, like... Okay, let's... If it's Lend Lease, if, if they want... It's Len Lease they'll be getting. Mm hmm. Have fun, Central African states. I know you'll love it. Okay, United States, is that how you want to play, huh? Better make sure I keep my fighter jets in the ready. Who knows how long I might need them for this new long grueling war. I don't want my other puppets getting involved because I know it's going to turn out worse. Wow. It's a global it's a global war now. Add more tactical bombers into this mix. Mm -hmm. As you can see, lady, as you can see, comrades, we have we are now going to avenge our. Oh, sorry about the shift key button beep right there. As you can see, comrades, we are now going to avenge our homeland. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are now Spy Master. Now I have four additional spies for my agency to get. Hmm. Invite Albania. Invite Bulgaria to the alliance. Hmm. Oh, and I should point out that my alliance really is growing like heck. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? 
maybe a, maybe a teleportation cheat is in order. <laughs> oh look at Oh look at that. How did the how did how did the Soviets even get through here? Across the English Channel. Hmm, who knows? It's a mystery. Let's see. They'll be able to join our alliance. I hope they will join as soon as I'm able to, like, you know. <laughs> yep, Britain is run running on thin ice as it is. Br I say, I say, I say, why I say, I say, why don't we help the British out? Well, the Soviet British, anyway. Mm -hmm. No, I won't have you other puppets getting in the fun. Oh, but you can send Lin Lease to me, that's fine, I guess. Finally, the United Kingdom has been bested. Hmm. I still have the rest of the world to conquer anyway, against the Toronto Accords, but hey. I still got- I have all day. Anyway, comrades, I think this is where I'm gonna stop the adventure for now. As you may have noticed that the World Socialist Order has been created and now it's a full-on war against the Toronto Accords. Already bested Denmark, Norway, and, and the United Kingdom, which is three allies down a lot more to go as from this map, but don't worry, Konev has a plan. But as I say, Konev has a plan. Konev always has a plan. Anyway, comrades, the World Socialist Order will succeed. Com com comrade Wolferton, out.